the Dwarf Dragon Slayer, coming up next on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, everybody. My name is Trevor Selescu, and I represent the Games Workshop. Now, I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. I speak for the trees. No, anyway, I'm not the Lorax, but I do have a guy who is a dwarf. And he has an axe, and he's standing on this. And he could potentially cut down trees, so he would have to talk to the Lorax. But no, anyway, this is the old Dwarf Dragon Slayer model, better known now as the Unforged. So, we are going to take a look at this guy. This guy came out when uh, End Times came out. Brand new model at the time, I bought him, but I haven't built him yet. But now that the General's Handbook 2018 is out, I want to do this big epic battle that's going to pit all my customers' models against my 12,000 point army of dwarfs, including him. And hey, I opened up some Fire Slayers out there, guys. I might even sneak those in sometime. But at any rate, let's go down and open up. It's a single model, so it won't take long. Let's see what's in the little box. And now we'll be looking at our dwarf. Dragon Slayer model, also now known as the Unforged. So this is quite a cool model. This was also brought out in the End Times Warhammer 8th Edition, just before they switched to Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So he's been around in my basement for a while, and now he's finally going to get cut open to show you guys what kind of cool models are going to be beating you on your table. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Next time you come and play at Monster Hobbies. So this guy is molded in a dynamic pose where he's actually leaping off the round base. There's the instructions how to put them together. And here is his single parts tree for the little guy. And as you can see, he's standing in some, well, that's dirt there. And then this big dragon head goes on clicks onto there. This is reminiscent of the horns and icons that the dwarf warriors carry on a dragon head. And now you can see the mohawk hair and his two axes that he's got. And there's quite a lot of good detail. There's a foot molded onto that dragon head. And the base is still on the square because that's how old this is. If you want it on a round base you can actually cut off the bottom and then rub it on some sandpaper to make it nice and smooth and glue it to a circle base. Should be quite nice. Quite nice indeed. And he's also got the beard with the two little axes tied in it. And if you look at his war scroll, it is quite a cool war scroll. You can actually use this guy to fight against chaos. Highly recommended. And that will bring us to a conclusion of the Dwarf the Dragon Slayer. Also known as the White Dwarf, if you paint his beard white. Now wasn't that a fun examination of our little Dwarf Dragon Slayer? Yes, it was. All right, so if you like these videos and you would like to make a contribution to our channel, please do not hesitate to go to our YouTube page, look in the banner up top, and click the PayPal icon. And now, if you would like to see what models I have available, since I am speaking for Games Workshop, <laughs> not really, but since I sell Games Workshop, please check it out in the link below, the little blue one. Of course, you know this is all good humored. But check it out, click there, and it'll take you to our website where you can see what stuff we can ship to Canada. And if you'd like to see some more unboxing videos, check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us over here and click that notification bell so every time a new video comes up you get to be the first one to see what's in the box.